morning chaps up this morning to to go out to a tool station to pick up uh, a spray gun and I was going to start to spray the shop um, but I was greeted by an email uh, from the company that offered to do the sheet steel for around 220 quid they've dropped a bollock so I get an email this morning saying hi Chris there's been a bit of confusion on the quote Gareth was under the impression that you were free issuing the stainless steel sheet what does free issuing mean? Can somebody clarify that up? Oh, I've googled it. It's very sketchy. I don't understand it. He's asked me to sort this out. Please find the attached revised prices. So now it comes in and it says one cylinder and two circles. Well, well, have a look. So we've got one cylinder and two circles free issue sheet from Harrison's Brewery, 221. Then one cylinder and two circles supply complete. 527 net total 748 so I'm not sure what's going on I'm guessing that the 221 is to do the work the 527 is to supply the materials and the 748 is the total price but yeah not a great thing to wake up to in the morning so again back to the drawing board I need to find somebody who can a supply with stainless steel like give me reasonable and open quotes and then I need to find someone who's going to roll it and I need someone who's going to reply to her emails because I mean granted these guys might be busy but they're a bit shit in that respect I'd like to know like straight away a phone call would be nice particularly with something like this but let's just get in the car and go to work as normal and we'll see how the day progresses because it's just early yet might turn out to be a cracking day. Well, I made it to Tool Station. This time I brought somebody with me. Look at the smile on her face. She's so pleased to be here. So, uh, it's your first visit to Tool Station, isn't I've it? I've never been to Tool Station before. Yeah, I take her all the best places. Well, screw fix. You've missed a trick, folks. Number one, you didn't sponsor my videos. And number two, coffee. you don't have free coffees. So tool station, we're going to begin a long and emotional affair. Right back at the unit chaps, I've picked up one of these from tool station. It's the big old compressor set, so what I'm hoping to do today is use this gravity fed spray gun. I think it's gravity fed, it's not gravity fed is it? Suction feed spray gun to spray paint all the walls in here. Uh, not sure if it's gonna gonna be a goer, but we're gonna give it a crack. Oh my gosh! Talk about giving it a crack. That just split up plastic. And inside. We have instructions. Right, I'm gonna put all this together and you'll see the finished article once I have done so. Right, I've got the main thing assembled, which is the spray gun. We've changed the oil on the compressor, changed the drain plug, and also took that valve off the front and replaced it with a hex plug. We've got everything set up, it's charged. I've never done this before. I'm gonna mix some emulsion paint and pop it in there and see if we can't get it spraying. Right, so you can really see the consistency of this paint. Look how high it stands on the stick, it's really thick. So I'm just gonna add a fair old bit of water. Right, so the consistency is that of, well, I don't know, thick milk. It's thinner than yoghurt, but thicker than milk, so yeah, you figure it out for yourself. Let's get a good pint in there, and then we'll go across to the wall, and we'll see if it's any good. I have no idea. Okay. I have decided to spray this wall. I've hooked up 
I've changed no settings on here. So however this comes out, it comes out. I've no idea what to expect. My guess is that it's too thick. So we'll visit the drawing board again. Well, that's the result of watering this paint down considerable amount. It's almost 50-50, I think. And the pressure's quite high, 50, 60 PSI. I'm thinking I should have got a HVLP gun, which is high volume, low pressure, and not that one, which is a suction one. In fact, I thought it was a gravity feed that I was getting, but I didn't pay attention. That's my fault again for not checking out what I've got before I buy. I will learn one day. Well, I think the correct word is baffled. I just can't get my, uh, can't get my head around it. So we've sprayed these walls, that one and that one, and whilst they are a lot whiter, you can see the difference in the transition. It is whiter, but I just can't get the flow rate right. And I think it's because of the thickness of the paint. So what I've actually done is water it down 50-50. I don't want to go anymore because it's really thin. And it was still coming out the nozzle really slowly. And then I put water into the tank to clean it through because I'm going to go in with Gemma to pick the kids up. I'll come to that in a minute. So I put water through the tank and it literally bails out with water. So I think it's to do with the consistency. So regarding picking the kids up, I've had a phone call off the camera chairman, Mr. David French, no less, to accompany him and a couple of other boys across to the Mallard Beer Festival in Worksop and then also walk to the Fuggle Bunny Brew Pub, which I've not been to yet and I've heard great things about the place. So I'm going to go up with Gemma, pick up the kids and catch the train at five o'clock with Mr. French et al. Right, I've been on the tool station website and ordered a gravity feed spray gun. We'll give that a trial tomorrow, I think. And I've just got off the phone to Mr. French and I'm gonna meet him at the train station at quarter to five or call for him on the way down, ask if he's playing. And we're gonna go across to Worksop to the Mallard and then to Fuggle bunny or vice versa. Before I go though, I'm gonna cut my hair. How does that look? I've seen worse. I think it's alright. It's alright, is it? It's that cowlick at the top there that bothers me. I know, but you can't do anything about that, can you? Right, let's get showered. No, I can't do anything about that. Right, we're going to switch over onto the phone cam whilst we're on this French excursion. Yes, the French excursion. We're not over the Monsieur France. So, the audio, if there is any at all, may be terrible. But I will try and keep the cinematography as good as it always is. We're going to switch across onto the mobile phone footage. Now, how's that look? Well, this is what you're going to have to put up with, whether you like it or not, for the next four and a half hours. Never thought that we'd go this far. Don't stop now. Reaching for a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange that how we're safe from home? So that I got in days until the second go If you're gonna break the shades you have to let me know Turn the shit on right, The phone is precariously balanced I hope to god it doesn't fall down But we're here at Wayne's place This is the Mallard in Worksop And I'm enjoying a beer with Mr French Stuart and of course Wayne the proprietor of this place and what a diamond chap he is as well. So when Wayne has a beer festival he opens up the cellar section of his pub. I think we're going to go down in there. In fact me and Tony Yates spent some time here. He'll remember if he's watching. Let's go in. Run! 
Well, there we have it, folks. I've been across to Worksop. Gemma was kind enough to give me a free run over there and pick me up from work. What? I've got like the air and everything in. Oh, she's so disappointed that like we're drying clothes, like every other person on the planet does. <laughs> every other person on the planet does this, you know, chick. We have to dry clothes. We live in a two up, two down, love. We're poor. Anyway, we digress, but we thought we'd introduce you to all of these characters that do actually play quite a considerable role in my life. Mr. French, Mr. Stuart Rose, uh, Wayne from the Mallard and everybody else. There are tons of people that don't often feature on the vlogs uh, because basically I don't film anybody unless they sort of outright say that they agree to be on camera. But tonight has been quite a good night and everybody's been very open, actually. Uh, and hopefully this is gonna continue. Hello, what are you laughing at? I don't know. Just making her giggle anyway. So hopefully this continues throughout the vlogs in the future, particularly into February, maybe March, maybe April, who knows. But certainly until the 3rd of Feb. So cheers folks and we will see ya. It morning oh and it's nice to see froggy's got better and he's out of hospital yay hey put yourself together man for crying out loud